IELTS Academic Task 1 Band 9 Bar Graph Walkthrough with Example Essay. The question. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The following graph shows changes in marine life populations in several years in a body of salt water. Report the main features and make comparisons where relevant. A band 7 to 9 Task 1 essay needs to include three paragraphs. First, an introduction then an overview, and finally, the main paragraph, the analyses. The introduction and the overview should be around 30 to 40 words each. The analyses should be around 120 words, for a total of approximately 200 words. The task says minimum 150 words. Do keep in mind that high band responses tend to be slightly more. Now, let's look at the introduction in more detail. For a good introduction, you need to do more than just simply paraphrase the question. This is where a lot of candidates go wrong. They just repeat the question almost word for word using some synonyms. To get those higher scores, you need to include more information using the graph. Let's do this with this question. Take a look at the strong introduction using not only paraphrasing but additional details from the title, the legend, and the axes of this bar graph. This bar graph depicts variations in seal, whale, and dolphin populations in four periods from 2006 to 2018 with intervals of four years in Georgia Strait. As reflected by the y-axis, the population is measured from 0 to 60 animals with intervals of 10. Let's highlight the clear differences between simply paraphrasing and giving greater detail. Instead of just writing graph, we add the word bar. It's a bar graph. Instead of simply writing marine life, we write seals, dolphins, and whales using the title. Of course, IELTS is a thinking exam, and I realize that these three animals are also mammals and intelligent sea creatures at that. This will become useful vocabulary later in the essay. This is exactly why you have to think and add details in the introduction and not just simply repeat the question. Also, notice that instead of writing body of water, here we write Georgia Strait, again using the title. Furthermore, instead of just saying a time period from 2006 to 2018, we add the phrase with intervals of four years, making it clear for the reader that this is not a line graph with continuity, but it is indeed a bar graph. Use this kind of detail in your introduction to quickly and effectively boost your scores. Also, include the y-axis information when it makes sense. In this case, for clarity, it makes sense to explain to the reader that the measurement was done from 0 to 60 animals with intervals of 10. Now, let's discuss the overview. The overview paragraph seeks to report the main features. These two to three sentences are the outline for the third paragraph, the analysis. So make sure to have good information and good structure. You need to go above and beyond simply stating the most and the least. This is just too simple for those high band seven, eights, nines. Instead, look for interesting patterns and trends that you can see at first glance when looking at this data. Are you enjoying this video so far? The video has been edited by Filmies. For professional, cost-effective, high-quality videos that can be watched time and again, whether for education, corporate, sports, or a fun family movie, contact Filmies. The email is also in the video description below. Now, let's take a look at our sample overview for this bar graph. At first glance, it becomes clear that dolphin population grew from one time interval to the next. Seal population decreased and increased, while whale population remained relatively stable. Overall, the populations of the sea mammals were the lowest in 2010 and highest in 2018. Now that we have written a good introduction and overview, we are ready for the analysis. The analysis follows the concepts of the overview in greater detail. Five to eight points on the graph, about a sentence for each. Let's take a look. 
In more detail, dolphins numbered around 17 in 2006. They increased by 5 in 2010, 10 more in 2014, and became the highest population of all three creatures in 2018 at a whopping 52 dolphins. Conversely, seals had the highest numbers in 2006 at 43, then decreased to nearly half in 2010, 25 seals, and then increased in the next two periods, 35 in 2014 and 45 in 2018. Whale populations, on the other hand, remained relatively stable throughout these time periods, numbering closer to the mid-20s. Furthermore, the lowest overall populations for these intelligent aquatic animals can be observed in 2010, with an average of 23, and the highest is notable in 2018 with a mean of 40 mammals. In summary, the population changes for each of these three sea mammals in the Georgia Strait is significantly different. Increase, fluctuation, and stable. With a total number of 230 words, a band 9 response is secured. The complete essay can be also found in the video description below along with the definitions for some of the important vocabulary that I have used. Make sure to practice these skills before your next IELTS exam and you too can master the task 1 of the academic IELTS. Good luck the next time you sit your test. This bar graph depicts variations in seal, whale, and dolphin populations in four periods, from 2006 to 2018, with intervals of four years in Georgia Strait. As reflected by the y-axis, the population is measured from 0 to 60 animals with intervals of 10. At first glance, it becomes clear that dolphin population grew from one time interval to the next. Seal population decreased and increased, while whale population remained relatively stable. Overall, the populations of the sea mammals were the lowest in 2010 and highest in 2018. In more detail, dolphins numbered around 17 in 2006. They increased by 5 in 2010, 10 more in 2014, and became the highest population of all three creatures in 2018 at a whopping 52 dolphins. Conversely, seals had the highest numbers in 2006 at 43, then decreased to nearly half in 2010, 25 seals, and then increased in the next two periods, 35 in 2014 and 45 in 2018. Whale populations, on the other hand, remained relatively stable throughout these time periods, numbering closer to the mid-20s. Furthermore, the lowest overall populations for these intelligent aquatic animals can be observed in 2010, with an average of 23, and the highest is notable in 2018 with a mean of 40 mammals. In summary, the population changes for each of these three sea mammals in the Georgia Strait is significantly different. Increase, fluctuation, and stable. To get Band 9 help and samples for other types of academic task 1, including line graphs, pie charts, maps, and flow charts, visit and join our premium IELTS package at aehelp.com where you will find practice exams, an interactive course, and an app for your phone. It's a one-time payment for lifetime access. Use the code BAR9 for an additional 10% discount. Click the link in the description below. You can also purchase the course directly through YouTube by looking at our products and completing your checkout via Shopify. We are an IDP affiliate, a British Council partner, an IELTS test registration center, and I'm a British Council agent. We have helped thousands of students succeed on IELTS and enter universities across the world. Just listen to what this student has to say. Hi, I'm Rahul Asnaif. I recently got a band 7 in the academic IELTS test. The resources in the AE Help website and the videos were really helpful to me to prepare for the IELTS within a month. Thanks AE Help team. Begin learning for success. Join now. Subscribe to our channel. Click over here. Watch another video. Click right up here. And click our IELTS hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos 
practice exams, and a fully interactive course.